Today, we are unboxing the Fujifilm GFX100 Mark II. So this is very exciting. Uh, full disclosure, I got given this camera by Fujifilm Australia and Camera Pro to road test it uh, before launch, as I'm currently shooting on a GFX100S, which is the kind of previous, the GFX100 is the OG, and then the GF, GFX100S was more of an SLR style, 100 megapixel camera, more accessible body. So I'm very, very keen to see what this looks like, what updates have been done. And as a long-term GFX100S user, this excites me greatly. So I've got the GFX100 Mark II, as well as the GF 55mm 1.7R. So weather resistant as well. So in uh, full frame land, this is a equivalent of about a 45 millimeter focal range and 1.7 equates to maybe 1.2 as far as depth of field, similar look and feel. So this will be a very, very versatile lens for most things. So I'll be doing some shoots, some fashion shoots, some street photography over the next week just to test it out. But uh, it's very exciting. So let's start unboxing, shall we? So normal box, you know, as you do, I'll just make sure hopefully autofocus is working. We've got the manual, not many manuals these days, you don't wanna see that. Ooh, what is in here? I'll leave the body till last, should I? Typical USB, USB cables, a Fujifilm strap, which is nice, which I probably won't use. We've got a detachable EVF, I don't know whether you can see that, but we will unbox this. Whoa, whoa. There we go. It is, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. That is the iCup EVF. I'm not sure I have to pull up the details, but that looks very pretty. Just move that off to the side. And then, look, I'll stop, stop mucking around. This is the body, the moment of truth. Wow. There it is, Fujifilm GFX 100S, just showing it to the camera here. Someone's vacuuming downstairs, but hopefully you can't see that. And I can tell you straight away, there's some amazing updates to the body that I'll take you through. So I've been shooting on this for about a year now, the GFX 100S. I guess I should probably uh, put this together. Let me just have a look if there's anything else in the box. Let's see. Oh. Obviously there's batteries, there's multi-country adapters, a bracket as well for, ah, a bracket, which is nice for tethering. So cables, if you need to tether, shoot tethered, which is great. There's a charger in there. So anyway, no one wants to see this. Everyone wants to see this. So I'll just move this out of the way. This is the body, same Fujifilm, Batteries, so we've got the two NPW235, same as the X-H2, uh, X-H2S, GFX100S, the X-S20 I think uses the same batteries now as well, so uh, amazing, amazing that Fujifilm are continually doing that. Let's have a look in here, so typical battery slot. First thoughts, um, the dial, the display on the top is incredible. I don't know whether you can actually see that, but it's actually tilted. So it's tilted back a little bit, so it's easier for you to see. Um, three quick buttons on the top, programmed, looks like uh, AI, autofocus, uh, eye, face detection, and ISO, which you can just change by the three buttons. 
Looks like there's two more programmable buttons here. Uh, typical kind of autofocus selection, so single continuous manual. Um, it's very, very familiar. We've got, let's have a look here, full-size HDMI, USB-C and microphone remote, as well as I have a sneaky suspicion that this is a full RJ45 Ethernet, which is crazy for shooting tethered. That's a big deal. Um, PASM, PSAM, whatever it is, dial, uh, movie in stills mode. Yeah. I guess I should probably attach the EVF. So I'm pretty sure I don't actually know how to do this. Hopefully I don't break this. Oh no, it just slides backwards. So make sure you can see this. We've got the EVF here. I'll just do this and we will just insert it in the top. Clicks in. Feels good. And now that is the GFX 100 Mark II with the detachable EVF connected. It's pretty funky. So let's just put that to the side for a second. We'll go with the Fujinon 55mm F 1.7R weather resistance. There's a lens pouch, which is pretty exciting. Some instructions. But the good part is this bit. Obviously comes with a lens hood, which I won't use at the moment. And there it is, the big boy. 55 mil, aperture ring, feels really strong and solid. That is a beautiful looking lens. So I'll just put this down on the ground. Let's install this, shall we? Hopefully no one judges me for the way I do this, but. I mean, this is an amazing package right here. I think I could shoot a lot of campaigns with this camera as it stands right now. So, I'm just going to move this. There we have the Fujifilm GFX 100 Mark II with a 55mm f1.7 prime lens. It is a beautiful piece of kit. Um, yeah, first thoughts, there's a new finish on the grip. The battery grip is, or the hand grip is way more ergonomic. Seems like both the front and back wheels are clickable, so you can customize. Um, it just feels like they've looked at the GFX 100 and the GFX 100S and taken the best parts of both and um, created something that I will definitely be buying. I'm biased because I'm a Fujifilm shooter and I used the GFX 100S on 99% of my shoots, even though I'm doing the overhead with the X-H2, which is a great camera, but I really do feel like this is going to be the camera that I will be using day to day uh, for the foreseeable future. So I've obviously heard the rumors about the specifications of this camera. So time will tell. This week I'll be testing it out on real shoots. I've got a few campaigns coming up this week. So I'll be taking it through its faces, through its paces fully. And I guess we'll find out what the differences are. I'll do a longer term review or an initial review after a week, compare it to my GFX 100S. And I'm really excited to take this for a test drive. This is a beautiful camera. And um, I'm very, very thankful to Fujifilm and Camera Pro to be giving me access to this before launch so I can really, uh, you know, test it out. I'm not sponsored by Fujifilm. You know, the, the reviews are going to be my own opinions, but, you know, I'm literally a nobody and they've uh, allowed me to get this early and to take it through its paces. So very thankful and very excited to show you guys my initial thoughts in, a next, uh, in the next video.